Alright, I'm Craig and this is Diary of an Angry Scottish Golfer. Um, I'm going to go out on the course tonight and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to play holes and moan and talk about my handicap and everything like I usually do. I'm going to play some specific holes tonight. I'm going to play the four hardest holes because they're the holes that I'll get shots on. Um, so technically I should play these holes in four over par. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to play these holes. I'll talk you through all the shots that I'm playing or what I'm trying to play. Like, and yeah, just see how I do. Like I say, I should be four over for these holes. Nice clubhouse again. Ah, well, you can't really see. That's pouring with rain again. And I don't have a bra uh, brally. I don't have an umbrella. Um, brawly. I don't have a brawly or an umbrella. Ugh. <laughs> Here's a fun one. So I started to, the course is so busy, right? It's a Friday night. The course is absolutely mobbed. I don't know why. And it was raining. It's actually a bit nicer now. But I played the first hole and I thought, oh, it's so busy. I'm going to just go and sit in my car because it's raining. I was like, I'm just going to go and sit in my car until it quiets down. I can go and play these difficult holes that I was going to play. So I walked back to my car. Um, I don't know how I managed it, but opened the boot in my car, I must have pressed the, uh, my, my car key's got like two buttons, and I must have pressed the boot button as opposed to the open button, chucked my stuff in the boot, shut the boot, and then I seen a light go on, I was like, oh no, I've just locked my keys in the boot. So, I'm waiting on a taxi to go home to get my spare keys to come back. Literally, and this, is, this is why you watch these. This is, the, this is the reason you watch these videos, because you don't get this in other YouTube videos. They would just edit this out. So, yeah, currently sat here waiting. Hopefully I'll be back here by about eight and it should be a bit quieter. But it'll also be a bit darker, so that's fun. So yeah, nice 20 pound on a taxi, which was fun. But yeah, anyway, here we go. Proper, proper edge now, proper, proper filming. Right, so I've played this hole once before and I made a birdie. This is stroke index one. It's the hardest hole on Rathal, on Rathal, that makes sense. The hardest hole at Rathal Park Golf Club. Um, bunker is out there approximately 230 yards. The trees straight into the distance, they're about, well that one main one is about 275. So there's a good gap there of kinda 30, 30 plus yards between the bunker and then the trees over there on the right. It's quite a severe dog leg to the right. Um, there's a good fair bit of wind tonight, so I can even with this wind I can still get a driver over the bunker. So my thought is going to be I'm going to be hitting driver over the bunker. I'm going to tee up on the far right hand side of the tee. I'm, I'm trying to hit at the moment. It's a bit of a fade, so I feel like if I tee up on this side of the markers, it gives me a better angle. So I feel like that blocks out. Obviously, there's a lot of rubbish over here that blocks out that rubbish as opposed to. If I go over here, I feel like that's just a lot more in my eye line. I don't know if that'll really make sense, but yeah, so driver. I'm gonna hit driver over the left-hand side of that bunker. I'm gonna try and pick a really specific target. There's a little patch. There's a little patch of light kind of colored sand. That's really crap camera work. There's a little patch of light colored sand, which is just outside the bunker on the left hand side, that's what I'm going to try and make my target and I'm going to try and hit a little bit of a fade off that. So, let's see how I get on. I did say that I was going to concentrate tonight and treat it as if I was playing like really focused, really focused. And it's stupid because I was, where I was standing, my foot went into that little drainage thing. I don't know if you can see it like there. My foot went in there, and I was aware, I was like, oh, you're in a bit of a rush now for light because of the thing that happened with a taxi, so I just thought, just go, it'll be fine. But, yep, there you go. On to the next one. I have pretty much 175 yards uphill into the wind. If that line lies, probably all right. 
10 uphill, so it's playing 180. Plus the wind. Best part of 200 yards, I'm gonna hit an easy five iron. Realize that I'm about to be surrounded by people, so I probably should stop talking. But yeah, right, easy five iron. Off the bunker on the left. It's like oh really, okay, well that, that's good. At least you know how bad I am in real life then. That was nice. I was all embarrassed about it. speaking to myself in front of that guy, and then he was like, "Oh no, I, I subscribe to your videos." So I probably should have asked you your name, mate, and I could have like give you a shout out. But next time. So uh, I actually, when it was over, I thought I didn't have enough club. So I took a wee, uh, sorry, I thought I had too much club. Took a wee bit off it. Ended up being just short. It was an okay shot, though, considering where I put myself. Right. So here is where we finished up. Not a bad effort considering where we were really to be honest, so as I say, try and, try and make my par. These are the type of shots that I get a little bit nervy of, but as I say, I mean I'm just going to try and concentrate on the real positives or try and paint a real clear mental picture in my head and then that's all I'm going to concentrate on. So I'm going to try and land a pitching wedge, maybe two yards on you can see there's like a little, like a little line where there's like a cut, going to try and land it just after that and I reckon I land it just after that it's hopefully going to run out reasonably close so here we go right so lining up the pup a bit of a breaker off the left I reckon the way I try and I try and see these is imagine if I hit the ball dead weight in the center of the hole how far on the side of the break, on this case, how far to the right would it move? And I think there's something kind of about maybe a foot right of the hole that it would finish on if it was dead weight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna aim about a foot left of the hole. There's a little kind of divot mark thing that I can see. You probably won't be able to pick up on camera. And that's what I'm gonna aim at. So I'll try and knock it in on that line. Right, I was going to do talk about why I hit a shite chip there, but wildlife segment. I do enjoy a wildlife segment. Some guy with three, three dogs just wandering about the course. I've never seen that before. I mean, I've seen people walk through with them. someone like me, someone like me. I don't know if you picked up before, right there. Yeah, I don't know where that guy's gone. Where that guy's gone? Oh, he's just walking up the eighth with dogs. Lovely. So the seventh at Rathal, which is stroke index three, so again, one of the four hardest holes. There's a couple of ways that I've been playing this hole. I, the, that tree on the left is 192 yards. The bunker is 225. So previously I had been hitting an iron, two iron kind of punchy thing. Try to leave myself on the flat of the hole, like it's flat next to the bunker and then it's uphill. Try to leave myself the flat on the flat part. Um, leaves a bit of a longer iron in, maybe like an 8 iron or something, but what I'm going to try and do tonight is, again, try and think all the positives, like try and play a wee bit more aggressive. I'm going to try and hit a fade off the left-hand side of that. Now I know that that brings into play that there's like out of bounds all up the left, and kind of up next to this tree, or next to these trees, is a bit of a, a really rubbish area to finish yourself. To finish yourself? That sounds rude. To end up in. Um, and again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tee up on the right and I'm going to try and hit a fade because previously I would have teed up on the far left hand side of the tee, I would have aimed at that um, tree over there and I would have just tried to basically just accept that it's going to be a bogey and I'm going to hit a block and the further right, sorry the further left I tee up and the more I try and aim away from rubbish the more my body just like reacts and thinks oh like you kind of end up thinking um, I'm miles. I'm aiming miles right, so I just turn over and hit a big hook to get yourself back to the fairway, and you end up just making a complete mess of it. So I'd rather make a committed swing on the bunker on the left and knock it out of bounds, and just think basically, okay, if I if I put it out of bounds, try to do what I'm trying to do, it's a really bad shot. It deserves to be out of bounds.
Ah. Well, so far, not so good. Block tee shot off the fifth. Snap hook, <laughs> snap hook into the absolute rubbish that I said I was going to try and avoid there. And uh, then obviously you reload, block your, tee block your second tee shot. These are the hard holes. Hard holes for a reason. Try and find the next one. So that's what I've left myself with. The green's elevated about 135 yards. Yellow pin, which means it's in the middle of the green. I know from playing recently, it's on the top tier. Obviously, I'm gonna have to try and hit something. Actually, you know what? My thoughts are either try and hit something low, like a low punch, but obviously anything that's running up towards that green is gonna catch the front bunker. So you can't really run anything and expect to get it on. Obviously, because I smoked one into there, uh, the par that I'm trying to make is, is out the window, so I'm two down on these holes. Um, man, I need a birdie for a bogey. So, forget that. I'm just trying to hit a good shot. So, about 135 yards uphill. Wind is not a lot. Maybe slightly helping, if anything. I'm trying to go the aerial route. I know that's probably a bit mental. But I'm going to try and go the aerial route. Hit a slice. Try and slice a wee nine iron. See how I do. That didn't work either. It's very, it's a very this didn't work evening tonight. I think the tone has been set by losing my car, <laughs> leaving my car keys, locking my car keys in my car. Just like that, that sets the tone for the evening. So try to hit the fade. It just went poker straight because I'm not Bubba Watson. So it's sitting all right, and I've got an uphill pitch to a pin which is right on the level just before it runs. There's like a little slope here just before it runs down. So it's just before that. So I need to kind of be just left of it. Anything massively right of it will probably um, fall down the slope. Right, so it's so soft tonight. I think I can land this quite close to the to the hole really. There's some like little leaf things here. Yeah, those guys. That's where I'm gonna try and land it with a 56 degree. Just a normal pitch, hopefully it stops quite quickly after there. It did stop quick, but it was also very shit. It's funny there, I just immediately got in a bad mood and was rushing. I wasn't even going to talk through this part, but so the whole point of this is just to try and think of each shot as an individual shot as opposed to actually mattering. So obviously this is now for a six, which is not ideal and it's not the type of stuff I wanted to put on YouTube, but you know what? can't be helped. So I think this is just off the left. Left lip and reasonably firm. Well, two of the four hardest holes done. Two down through two. Five, seven start. Not what I was hoping for. Gonna be honest. Um, I'll wander over to the next hardest hole and I'll see how I do. 14th at Rathal, I it's stroke index 2, but I think is the hardest hole. You've got a really long dog leg, par 4. Um, most of the time, to be honest, it plays into the wind. It's about four, uh, 470 from there, and the wind is into my face. It's just started raining again, which is epic fun. Um, you've got a hit driver. You've got to be pretty accurate with driver. If you go on the left-hand side of the this tree it gives you a flatter shot into the green you go on the right hand side you end up in the rough and it's quite tricky so i'm gonna hit driver i know this is daft but i'm gonna hit driver straight off the middle of the tee box because every time i've been going to the side i've been making a horse of it straight off the middle of the tee box and i'm going to try and aim at the middle of the tree and just try and hit a solid one on it because the last two have been horrific Best drive tonight, and it wasn't even very good. It ended up even shorter than I thought, so I've got absolutely miles in. I have everything. 230 yards uphill into the wind from the shine. Line. Only way I'm getting there is driver off the deck. Yeah.
before, but I'm, I'm just quite far away from it. Thanks, man. Cheers. See you later. It's the problem with hitting driver of the deck is it always wants to fade. I was, I'll be honest, after I just hit that shot and I'm, there's a rubbish one again, I was like, probably just going to not put this on YouTube and I'll maybe come out and make a video tomorrow night instead. But some guy was just really nice to me and he was like, good luck about getting down to scratch. So that's kind of like perked me up. So I'll, I'll put this on because of that guy. So you're welcome if you're enjoying this because of that guy. Really should ask people their names. Yeah, but shout outs. Anyway, not going well tonight. Not going well. Next shot. So a little kind of 30 yard pitch uphill over the bunker. I've got a tendency with these that I kind of like prescribe myself just one size fits all type answer. Like I seem to leave my pitch too short and my chips seem to go quite big. So I'm like, hit your pitches further, hit your chips softer. It doesn't really work like that. That doesn't really make sense. I mean, obviously there's just, there's so many variables, but I'm gonna hit this, hit 56. I'm gonna try and land this on the pin. Like, because last time I was so short, it was embarrassing. So I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna shut the camera up there and I'm gonna try and land this on the pin. That was pretty gash. <laughs> thinking if I try and put a bit of a positive spin on this right the these are the four hardest holes so these are the holes where I do get shots so I took a five at the fifth and I took a five there whilst not ideal I guess with my shots they're pars so instead of thinking that I'm two down instead of thinking that I'm two down I'm only really one down because I had a seven up the seven up the seventh so that means that means if I make a par up 17 Square, all square, all square, extra holes. It's all to play for. It's all to play for. Come on, come on, pop mart. Right, so play the 17th hole. This is a, this camera makes it look so much brighter than it is. I'm actually gonna take a photo just with no um, flash on or that. And like that might let you see how dark it is. Cause there, like there's people over there just walking in. Guy over here walking in because it's too dark to see you can't see anything so I think it's just after nine um, take a photo and I'll check you through this hole and we'll hopefully come on I really want a par I'm proper pumped come on right 17th at Rathal is another dog leg to the right this course really suits you if you hit a fade if you if you hit fades around here you're laughing really all the dangers up the left so if this didn't matter and I was just out for a laugh I'd probably just hit driver um, but this matters, this matters massively. So I, I need to hit a two iron. I need to, I need to do anything. I'm going to hit a two iron. I'm gonna hit a two iron on this big tree here in the distance. This, this guy up here, I'm gonna hit a two iron on that. A solid struck two iron. Get me in the fairway, get my par. There's danger left, there's danger right. Don't worry about that. Come on, come on the pars. Not Dunfermland Football Club. I'm not affiliated with them. Banner. I've got legitimately no idea where that went. I think it went left. But we could be getting one there. Balls. Right, so I managed to find it. It was down the left. I think it hit a tree and kicked out into an alright spot. Which is like the only bit of luck I've had tonight. Literally everything's gone wrong. There's no way my laser's gonna work, right? I'm just gonna eyeball it old school. I think I've got about 100 and maybe 140 plus yards. I'm gonna hit an eight iron, I think. Don't know if this will pick it up on the Pro Tracer thing. But I'll give it a try. Eight iron, middle of the green, because I can't see anything. Barely see the ball. I think if I crank up the selfie illumination, Jesus, flies, wildlife, 
I crank up the self illumination, you can kind of get an idea for how dark it is. Like that. Terrifying. Terrifying! That hurt my eyes. Not bad for distance. Pulled it slightly, but it's not bad for distance. Up pillar. Right, two parts. Two parts in the dark. The light is on on that, by the way. Wonder if I can turn it off when it's on. Mm, no, it's, oh god, what have I done? There we go. I messed up the focus there, but I think it's okay. Good. Right, uphill. Two putts for the half. Run it past. Run it past. God awful tonight. God awful. That was hard going tonight. I didn't play very well at all. All the holes, the four holes that are, are well, I mean, they are stroke index, the hardest in the course, the one where I got my shots at the moment, because I got cut down to four. I played them in one, two, if I played them in four over par, only had one par, not the best, but it's pretty dark. Anyway, thanks to the people who were nice to me when I hit it over near them. That kind of cheered me up a bit tonight because I wasn't playing very well. Um, usual stuff, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it would be cool if you could subscribe to the channel. My social media details are below. If you want to leave comments, I read them all and respond to them all about um, what you'd like to see in a video coming up or anything like that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.